Well, the elk have gone silent mode, so <clears throat> normally when they're doing this, I would just still hunt, just slip around the woods real quiet. But the snow is super crunchy, and there's no way. I mean, they'd hear you coming from 200 yards away. And so I think we're going to head back to camp, hang out, do a little bit of shooting. Um, they, they went up here to bed. And so we might come back out here this evening and just kind of get down low and just wait for that, uh, wait for those down, down slope winds. Hopefully they'll come back out of the timber before it gets dark. Um, if not, uh, depending on what the weather does, we may come out here and try to get up above them in the morning. It's a little bit risky um, because we're still going to have those down um, downstream thermals, but I think they might be kicking that way a little bit instead of straight downhill. So we'll just have to see what it does in the morning. This episode of Field Tips is brought to you by Orion Coolers. I've been using these coolers for a little over a year now and absolutely love them. They're tough as nails, innovative, and they'll hold ice forever. Orion, never lose your cool. Yeah, well, I guarantee there's lots of folks out there that don't know how to dig a hole. <laughs> this is how you dig a proper hole. It's open. There we go. Is the coal still hot in the fire pit? There's more and more. Cool. See if they were lifting their noses or anything. That spike did. That did well, when I got over there, I was probably 60 yards from the wind, just right off the back of my neck. But it's still straight up and stuff. I should have went farther back and just got tried to get up above them. The wind was perfect until I got. I mean, it was coming down this way the whole time, so I got right up on them. <clears throat> rat. No, that, all that snow fell off the trees.
seven cows like the closest one's probably 40 yards but I just I can't get a shot at them I can't get to the close I can't get in position for the closer one without one of the bedded ones that is a little bit farther away seeing me I'd have to cut that distance a little bit as well which there's no way I could do in this stuff I got a cow right here at about 35 yards I never did catch up with those cows again, and the rest of the season was much the same, with all of us having close calls, but ultimately, no elk in the freezer. Some would question our decisions to limit ourselves like this, to such primitive weapons, especially when there's a freezer full of meat at stake. But with deer season running well into December, there's plenty of time for that. This hunt was about testing our skills against theirs on a level field, and as so often happens, the elk were just playing better than us, for this time at least. But I think this evenness of match and its inherent uncertainty of outcome that is so magnetic. Without it, challenge is simply a facade, a flimsy construction to frame our ego. And with it comes chance and luck and perseverance and the promise to come back next year to match our skills against theirs in this most ancient game.